Welcome to Lotus Yoga and Counseling. This is Kailani. If you're here, that's because you're having a hard time sleeping, getting to sleep, falling asleep, staying asleep. So get comfortable, take a few deep breaths. You'll get to sleep soon enough. So now, just picture the story that you are about to be told. It's called Pichai and the Naga. This is a bedtime story that I wrote based on a Thai legend. Once upon a time, in a small fishing village on the coast of Thailand, there lived a sprightly little boy named Pichai. Pichai loved spending his days exploring the nearby beaches and the sparkling blue sea. He wanted to be a fisherman like his father and his father before him. But for now, he was just a child no responsibilities, no worries. He would run down to the shore after school, throwing his day pack and lunch pail on the shore, eager to feel the sand between his toes and the warm ocean breeze in his hair. One hot summer day, as Pichai was laying on the beach, he noticed a strange shape in the water. At first, he thought it was a rock, but as he got closer, he realized that it was a creature unlike anything he had ever seen before. The creature had the body of a fish, with the head of a dragon, and its scales glittered in the sunlight. Pichai stared in amazement as the creature swam closer to shore. As it approached him, the creature transformed into a beautiful woman with long, flowing emerald hair and sparkling golden eyes. He wore a simple dress made of linen with a length of rope tied around her waist. She introduced herself to Pichai as the spirit of a sea serpent and told him that she had come to befriend him. Wichai was both amazed and a little scared by the creature's transformation, but he could sense that she was kind and gentle. He introduced himself to the sea serpent, and they quickly became friends. They spent hours playing in the water, swimming and diving, and exploring the hidden coves and underwater caves. As the days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months, Pichai and the sea serpent's friendship deepened. They would often sit on the beach together, watching the sunset, 
cleaning seashells, talking about the past, future, life, and death, and the seasons changing around them. The sea serpent shared stories of the magical world beneath the waves. And Pichai shared stories of his life in the village. She would demonstrate her special powers, putting her fingers to her lips and whispering, Let us water the field and the rain would fall gently around them, pitter-pattering on the palm trees in the farmlands. Ichai's friendship with the sea serpent continued to grow and flourish, and he learned so much about the wonders of the sea and the creatures who lived there. We felt grateful and lucky to have found such a special friend. And he cherished every moment they spent together. One day, as they were swimming in a beautiful lagoon, the sea serpent appeared, distracted and worried. She explained to Pichai that she was not just any sea serpent, but a mythical creature known as a Naga. She explained that Nagas were powerful and wise beings who protected the sea, temples, and monuments. A new temple was being built on the far side of the island, and the Naga told him that she must oversee its worshippers. I know not when I shall return to this place, she admitted sadly. Michai's sorrow was tempered with his understanding. He told stories of the Naga, but never imagined that his humble and quiet friend was among these revered creatures. He understood her duty to protect these sacred places. He promised to visit her whenever he could and to continue to cherish their friendship, even from afar. Years went by. Pichai grew up to be a wise and respected member of the village. He continued to visit the beach every day and he could often be seen talking to the sea, watching the waves. Children and adults alike gathered around him to hear the stories of the Naga. Many believed that Pichai had a special connection to the sea and all of its creatures. They would seek his wisdom and guidance. Some even believed that spending time in Pichai's presence would bestow good luck and fortune for the blessings he'd received from the Naga. As Pichai looked out to the sea, he felt a sense of peace and joy 
who knew that he had been blessed with a rare and magical friendship, and that the sea would always hold a special place in his heart. When it was time for Pichai to lay his head to rest for the final time, he felt a great comfort. He knew the Naga would come to him, as all Nagas do, to celebrate his entrance into the afterlife. And when he closed his eyes, he heard the sound of the waves from inside the temple, and the sweet smell of ocean mist and salty air enveloped him. A warm hand gripped his, and his body was made light and carefree. When he opened his eyes, the Naga was smiling at him, and he had been made new. And that, my friends, is the story of the little boy and his special magical friend. And that is all. Good night.